In the previous video, we saw how the authentication attack can be useful and how we can use it to disconnect any device that is within our Wi-Fi range from any network that is within our Wi-Fi range as well. In this video, we're going to take the deauthentication attack to the next step using a tool called Airdrop NG. Airdrop NG is a script that will carry out the attack we explained in the previous video based on a rules file. So we're going to have a file that contains rules and according to these rules, airdrop ng will uh, disassociate, will disconnect some devices and will allow some devices. So we can disconnect, we can prevent a device from connecting to any network that is within our Wi-Fi range. We can prevent all devices from connecting to a certain network. We can prevent all devices from connecting to all networks. Um, we can allow some devices and uh, deny some devices. So we'll have much more freedom with the rules uh, by using AirDrop NG. First of all though, we're gonna have to install AirDrop because it doesn't come in installed with Kali Linux. So in this, in this video, we're just gonna talk about how to install AirDrop NG. Installing it is very simple. I'm gonna attach a text file to install it. So this is the text file and it has the commands that you need to install AirDrop NG. Now I have AirDrop NG already installed. So some of these commands are gonna give errors. Some of them are gonna tell me that I already have these packages and some of them will say they're gonna replace a few files. So for me, ignore the errors. For you, just copy and paste these commands. Um, there's a few depend dependencies that we need to install first before we can install airdrop ng so we're gonna go ahead and do that first so we're gonna go and user src and install a few libraries and as i said i have them already installed then we're gonna clone a lorcon library and try to install it Okay, it looks like I had a problem with my internet connection, so I just reset my connection. And I'm going to try to clone Lorcon again. And here we go, that's done. Then we're going to open the uh, its directory and we're going to install it. And that's installing it right now. Now the next step is to install the Python extension of Lorcan, so that's done now and then we're gonna install the Ruby one and that's done as well um, we're gonna clone aircrack ng repo now so we can install airdrop from it done then we're gonna install airdrop ng using these commands and that's it installed the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to update the OUI file for aerodump ng and that's the file that contains the hardware manufacturers um, that we can use to, to disassociate devices using airdrop so using airdrop and using the rules uh, we can disassociate devices based on their MAC address or based on their hardware manufacturer so this will update the file that contains the hardware manufacturers you can after we run this command um, airdrop, airdrop ng is going to be fully installed we can use it we're going to use it in the next video you might when you use it uh, you might get a message complaining about the OUI file and that it can't be found so to fix that you can just use this command but for me it didn't happen um, so I'm not going to need to use this command but if it does you can just copy the OUI file into the directory that it's going to complain about it's going to say that that directory doesn't have the OUI file so this is still updating now okay the OUI file now has been updated and airdrop has been successfully installed we can just run airdrop ng help just to see if it's installed and we can see that it has been successfully installed 